In this video I'm going to discuss about the number system conversion. Now if you're not familiar with the number system don't worry, I will give you first some theoretical background before moving to the coding part. Here we have four most used number system, decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal. Now decimal number system basically use 0 to 9 digits, so I'm going to write a few things here so that it may help you. So it can represent any number with these digits from 0 to 9. For an example, you have 25 here. Then binary number system use 0 to 1 digit. So there are only two digits allowed here. One is 0, another one is 1. So you can represent any number with this 0, 1 combination. Then in octal system, basically which means 8, you can use from 0 to 7 digits. So one thing probably you're noticing, every number system, they start from 0 and then they have the maximum limit. Binary means 2, decimal means 10, so if you, you know, count all the digits from 0 to 9, then there are 10 digits that you can use, and that's why it's a 10 number system or decimal number system. Binary means 2, which is something I already told you, so in this number system you can use 2 digits, which is 0 to 1. Octal means 8, so in this number system you can start uh, using the digit from 0, and then you can go until 7, so altogether there are 8 digits. Now for the hexadecimal system it goes like this, you will start from 0, then you go to, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like this, and, but after 9, you have to say instead of 10, you have to say A, In, instead of 11, you have to say B, instead of 12, you have to say C, instead of 13, you have to say D, instead of 14, you have to say E, instead of 15, you have to say F. So b basically this one is referring to 15, but you have to write F in hexadecimal. So 0 to 15, it's the 16 digits you have, or 16 characters you have, that's why it's hexadecimal, or 16 number system. Now I hope you got the idea about the number system here. Now we, we want to see how can we convert the number system from one to another. Now for simplicity, I will not do the conversion for, uh, you know, re something related to the binary, but we would love to see how to convert from decimal to octal or octal to decimal or decimal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to decimal. We are going to skip the binary num number system for now. Later on, we will see how to do the binary conversion for sure. But at this moment, let's just avoid this one. So what do we need here to convert? First of all, you need to understand about the format specifier for each number system here. So we have format specifier percent D which refers to the decimal number system. So whenever you want to take the decimal input, you can use this person D, or whenever you want to convert something into decimal, you can use this person D format specifier. For octal number system, you can use person O, small O, remember, lowercase O. For hexadecimal, you can use person X. So if you want to take any input in hexadecimal, or if you want to convert something into hexadecimal, showing the output, if you want to do that, you can use this person X. That's all, and it's very straightforward. Let me go to the coding, and I will show you how to convert this 25 into octal or hexadecimal. And then again, how to convert some octal number to decimal or hexadecimal. And finally, I will show you how to convert the hexadecimal number into octal or decimal number system. So let's see. I'm moving to the coding. I have the basic structure here. Well, I don't need this ctype.h anymore because I'm not using to lower or to upper or any function from the ctype.h. Now, at first, let's start like this. I will take a number in decimal, decimal number system. I will take one input, and from there, I will convert it into octal or an hexadecimal. So we want to take an input, and that input is going to be a decimal number, and then we'll convert that into octal and hexadecimal. It's going to be very straightforward if you just remember the format specifier. So for decimal, we have format specifier percent D, for octal, we have format specifier person O, small O, or small, you know, lowercase O. For hexadecimal, it's going to be person X, lowercase X. That's all. If you can remember about this format specifier, it's going to be too simple for you. Let me show you. First of all, we want to take user input, and it's going to be a decimal number. So we can give an instruction to the user. Enter a decimal number. So we are asking the user to give us an input in decimal. And now we can take the input with the help of scanf function. And remember what I told you, if you want to give any input or output in decimal, you have to use this person D format specifier. And then we are going to store that value inside a variable. Now we have not defined anything. We didn't declare any variable. So let's declare a variable, integer, decimal number. 
and now what we can do here we can just use the variable to store the value now it's time to convert and to display the converted value converted value in octal and hexadecimal so i'm going to just print use the printf function and i will say here equivalent equivalent or i want to keep it very simple so i will say just octal octal and then i will use this assignment operator to display something beautifully and here if you want to convert something in octal you have to use percent all lowercase all and then i'm going to use a new line here and the variable that i want to convert it's decimal number that's all so we are doing the conversion here the decimal number will be converted into octal because if we are using the percent o uh, format specifier so this decimal number system will be converted into octal number system here now i can copy and paste this one down below and i'm going to change the naming here a little bit this time it's going to be hexadecimal and the format specifier will be changed it's going to be person x that's all now let's run this program and let's see what happened if we run this okay so here i'm going to run this program it is asking me to provide a value in decimal number system so let's say if i give 25 what do we have here we have octal 31 31 which is completely really right and then we have hexadecimal 19 which is completely right as well i want to try one more time i want to provide a decimal value 15 now of course you know the equivalent hexadecimal value will be f but let's see what about the equivalent octal value we have here it's one seven so you can see the number system is working very well here now let me uh, you know just make some adjustment here to convert it from octal to other number system so let's say i want to convert it from octal convert to decimal so the format specifier will be person d so from octal we'll take an input from user uh, as octal number and then we are going to convert that into decimal and hexadecimal number system so all i have to do i have to change the naming of the variable to make it more meaningful and i'm going to ask the user to give me something in octal so well i could some do something like this octal just to keep it the inconsistency here and i'm going to use the variable called octal number to store the value of octal uh, number here but remember that for octal number system we have to use the format specifier person O. Oh, that's the change we have to make and now we are trying to convert it into decimal and the number we have taken the input we have taken inside this variable called octal number we want to convert that variable to decimal so we need to use the octal number variable same goes here that's it and we are done here basically now we can give it a try and run this program and let's see what happened so in this case if i try to run this program and if i say the octal number is going to be one seven you can see the equivalent decimal value is 17 which is not correct because we made a mistake here we didn't follow it well so in order to convert something in decimal you have to use percent d there you go now it should run fine let's give a check one seven and the equivalent decimal number is one five hexadecimal value is f now the last thing i want to do i want to convert from hexadecimal so i will take a user input in the hexadecimal number system i will use person x to take the user input i will convert it into decimal and octal and then of course for the octal number system we have person o so let's do this i want to use hexadecimal here so hexadecimal number that's the name of the variable where i'm going to store the user input and i will tell the user to give any number in hexadecimal okay and then now we can start converting them into decimal and octal number system for that we have to change the variable name here that we want to convert into decimal or even octal number system so for decimal we're using percent d whatever the input was there in the hexadecimal number system it will be converted into decimal by the way remember whenever you are taking the input or giving output for hexadecimal the format specifier has to be x here and for octal number system it has to be person o that's all and we are done for final time or for the last time maybe we can run this program let's try to give an input f hexadecimal number and it does give out the right answer here so we have the decimal one five and octal one seven and it's it's completely fine it's completely correct